Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another tutorial. So this tutorial is based around my new purchase, which is the Zulu palette by Julius Place. Yes. So these are the colors in here. Let me take the clear thing out. These are the colors. There's nine colors. I actually got this on sale, I believe. They had a sale this past weekend for 17 bucks, and I think this palette is originally 28. So yeah, I got this palette and I was holding off so that I could do a video and I'm finally able to do a video today. This is what I came up with. I call this my Arabian Night look because it's pinks, it's purples, it's a little bit of gold with that gold eyeliner and this fierce highlight. You guys, do you see that popping? Yes. Okay, so um, this is also a first impressions and I just want to go ahead and tell y'all what I think of the palette really quickly. I actually love this palette. I love, 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 love this palette. This pigment is, this pigment, this pigment. This palette is super pigmented and blended really, really well. Um, I see why everybody raves about this palette. I don't know why and what took me so long to purchase one, but I will be purchasing the other ones when I want to get this one. The other one that I really wanted was already sold out. So yeah, I will be waiting and purchasing that one as well. So yeah, I really love the colors and I primarily used only three colors out of this palette, which was this chocolate brown, this mauve matte pink or matte pink, and then this iridescent peaky greeny looking color right here. Unfortunately, this palette does not have the names on them. Okay, so that's my best description. It's the iridescent color that I put on top of the pink. So if you want to see how I got this look, first you gotta subscribe, like, and comment. Follow me on Instagram at boldmua. And yeah, so if you really wanna see how I got this look, you know what you have to do keep on watching thanks guys okay guys so as you can see i've already have one eye already done and i'm starting out with a wet and wild white pencil um i like this over my nyx uh white base because i don't know i just feel like it smooths and it really pops the colors that i need to pop whereas the nyx um white base that comes in a little container it actually um it's too thick and greasy so here um, what I'm doing is like I'm showing you that I'm pushing the product up I'm actually blending it up into my concealer from where I cleaned up under my brows and I'm flattening out the color and just making it all like uniform one color and you just want to do that all the way through making sure that you know everything is kind of smooth like right there was a little I don't know what the hell but it just wouldn't go away but it did not affect the eyeshadow application at all so now we are ready to go jump into the Zulu palette I'm gonna start off with this brown right here it's a really pretty brown and actually is a really really good transition color and matches my tone really really well and as you can see I'm starting kind of high up like right up under that um, cleanup of my concealer and I'm just blending and blending and blending that color out until I realized that this brush actually was a brush that I used to put highlight on and I'm looking and I'm like wait yeah wait it's not blending right no let me go back with another brush so I'm putting more product on but I'm also blending 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 that is the main goal to make everything look seamless I did not want like a really powerful color on top so I use this as a really good side and what I'm showing you is that most of the product I put on one side of the brush and on the other side of the brush I don't put any so when I put the colors on my eyes most of the time I do it at an angle in one side so therefore I was able to use the other side of the brush to do some more blending now I'm packing on this really 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 pigmented purple this purple is pigmented as hell and I love it love it love it I'm packing this on and as I start to notice you know of course the color is going to 
fade a little bit, but I didn't have any problem with that. I just wanted to make sure that I got the color into the outer V as well as a little bit into the crease to blend in with that brown. And once I did that and achieved the right intensity, I started to notice that the two colors meshed very well together and they actually gave me a really 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 darker pigmented purple which is what I really wanted I wanted a darker pigment but I also wanted that bright purple like that purple is bright and deep but I wanted something a little bit deeper and I'm not sure if you can tell in the video but the color payoff and and what my thought and plan was actually came to fruition so yeah so I'll just keep on packing it on and then and I just keep blending, blending, blending. That is key with these colors. Like you can't just plop this on your eye and not blend them out because they are so pigmented. You will have that line and you definitely do not want that. So yeah, I'm just trying to check and make sure that both of my eyes are looking the same. Again, more blending, more blending, more packing, more blending, same thing over and over again and I'm really loving the color payoff with this palette these are some really good palettes they are very the colors are very very creamy like like they go on very easily it's nothing you know that looks dusty you don't look ashy oh I've seen some ashy palettes and then also what I did notice I don't know if anyone else Set, has said anything about it but I really don't have any fallout from this product at all I tapped off the excess and went on about my business now this color here is this pink color it wasn't as intense as I had hoped it would be on this side because I inadvertently used the same brush that I used to put the other color on top of the pink the iridescent color but with this particular color and the intensity that I wanted it and I wanted it to give that iridescent color a really nice base so I just packed it on I kind of spread it out a little bit on, on my lash line but other than that I was really really packing this color on just to get it as colorful as I possibly could now I'm going back in with that purple that's still on the brush I didn't add any more purple to that brush I'm just like blending those um, harsh edges out just blending my little life away now I'm going in with that iridescent, peachy, greeny looking color. That's I kept moving it so that you guys could really see it. I'm going to go ahead and go in with that on top. Now with this color, you actually don't want to swipe. You actually want to pat. And I zoomed in a little bit more for you guys. This color has a really gold highlight in it. So to get that color to be as, you know, it's popping as I want it to I had to really pack it on but I also had to pack it not swipe not brush no strokes just pack that color on so again more blending more blending and what I ended up doing at the um I, at the toward the end of the eye look I actually before I applied my eyeliner, like right here, I believe, I actually just packed on more purple without blending it. Now I'm going to go in with this 24 karat NYX uh, liquid liner. Now with this particular liner, you actually have to apply multiple layers, multiple coats, so that you can get that really, really, like you can see it a little bit, but you can't see it until I fill that line in and just really, really go over it a couple of times with that liner. You can't really see it and also like my other suggestion would be to use maybe tape because I noticed when I went back to clean up that extra purple that was outside of that line make my you know give me a sharp crisp line that 24 karat gold kind of cracked a little bit and it kind of like peeled off on its own so yeah so you see how now when i'm putting it on i'm putting on more than one coat and now you can really really see the color this is such a fun look i actually really really love this look and i actually really really love this palette i will be purchasing more from chuvia's plays now i'm going in with my sephora and i'm actually going to use the darker pink and the lighter pink and mix those two together to give me a bit of a highlight that light was so bright that ring light was so bright y'all couldn't even see it 
But anywho, you'll see it in a minute on my face. Tapping off that excess. Oh my god, look at that glow. Look, 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 watch. Oh. Oh, look. I'm looking at the camera to see how it looks. Oh, oh, look. Oh, wait, wait. Is it doing? Oh my god, it's so bright. Oh, Jesus. Is it blinding, y'all? Oh, oh, Jesus. It's so bright. Oh, look at it. I got shook for a second. I didn't know what to do. So bright, like, oh, I'm so happy. Mm. What you do? Got a tear. So now I have already applied my lipstick and I applied Milani, which is one is a matte purple and one is a matte pink. I believe it's 64 and like 35. I put the um, description uh, down in the description bar down below. And this is the finished look with that poppin' shop poppin' highlight. Yes. So I hope you guys really love this video tutorial on this palette and this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications bell and follow me on my other social medias. Bold M-U-A.